today's video, we're going to be going over the resume that got me interviews at Google, Facebook, Amazon, Uber, Oracle, and a ton of other great companies. So let's just get right into it. So welcome or welcome back everybody to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kazim and I'm a third year computer science student at UC Irvine. And on this channel, I make college programming and lifestyle videos. So you guys should definitely go support and subscribe down below and also give this video a huge thumbs up. So like I said, we're just gonna be going through this resume and we're gonna be going part by part so you guys can really see everything that I have down. And this resume did help me get a software engineering internship at a fan company for the summer of 2021. And I made a whole video about that so you guys can go check that out to see the company and all of the details. Having a good resume is extremely critical for any company that you're interested in. That's why I decided to make this video I know a lot of you guys out there are probably great at coding and good at solving technical problems and it's essential to have your resume really highlight everything that you're good at so it gives you the best chance at getting your foot through the door and getting into these tech companies that you really want to get into. Okay, so here is my resume and I have all the blurred out parts that, you know, it's obviously private to me and I don't want to really share that. but. Here is pretty much everything. And like I said, we're gonna go part by part so we can really see um, everything. So let's just start off with the education part. So this part is the most essential part that your recruiter is gonna be scanning through to see you know, what education do you have? What kind of background are you coming from? As you can see, I have the University of California Irvine here. Um, BS in computer science anticipated in June of 2022. So as we go along, I have my GPA at the time, which was a 3.14. At first, I was hesitant to put my GPA because it's not, you know, it's not super low, but it's not super high. And I thought, you know, this might, it could lower my chances for these companies. I decided to just be honest and I decided to put it. And also, a lot of these companies don't really care about GPA. They just want to see, can you code? Are you a coder? Do you know how to solve problems and stuff like that? GPA isn't the only thing as you guys can see here. So of course, no, you do not have to have a, like a 4.0 out of 4.0 or anything like that. So next I have my clubs and activities that I've been participating at UCI. At the very top, I tried to highlight what I thought was like, you know, might stand out the most and might look the best to any recruiters looking at my resume. So the first thing that I put was my Google Developer Student Clubs that I joined at UCI was just that club was really good for just, you know, showcasing like Google tools that you can use, things that you will learn at Google and just different stuff like that. So I decided to put that at the top. Next below it, I have National Society of Black Engineers, NSBE, which was something that I'm heavily involved in as well. And they've been really good with just involving me with anything STEM related and just opening my eyes to different opportunities. So you have the UCI Bukai Foundation Scholarship recipient, and then you have the Jack B. Clark Scholarship recipient. And these are just the awards that I received at school that I thought would also be cool to put on my resume. So next I'm gonna go into the skills column. Keep in mind, I had to really pick and choose what I wanted on this resume because um, they really advise you to have like, you know, a one page resume, um, but I just wanted to kind of make it compact, but still give off a lot of information. It took me like three days to a week to really make this resume because I was changing stuff, I, you know, I was on and off. And yeah, I just really wanted to make it as best as I could. So for skills, I had programming and soft. So at the time I had Python proficient, C++ proficient, Scratch, MIPS assembly, yeah. And for my soft, I just have things that I think that I'm good at, you know, really communicating and team um, based is what I tried to go for because um, I wanted to show that I'm, I'm good working with the team and just communicating my thought process, what I'm trying to say, different stuff like that, as well as pro um, problem solving and time management. So I'm gonna move into the experience tab, which is pretty much the largest chunk of my resume. And I'm gonna start from bottom and go to the top. So at the bottom will be um, the oldest thing that I've done. Um, the top would be the most recent, like, you know, towards the most recent things that I've done. So um, I have Jamba Juice and I was hesitant to put Jamba Juice um, on here just because um, I wanted to make this resume more of a technical resume and just showcasing, you know, programming and all of my programming skills. But I decided to go ahead and put Jamba Juice to showcase that I'm diverse as a person. You know, I worked at 
Jamba Juice as a shift lead, a team member. So pretty much for my experience category, I just put everything that I thought was the best while I was working at that role. So for Jamba Juice, I just sort of listed it, efficiently worked with other team members to ensure the best quality service to customers, oversaw store functioning such as maintenance, cleanness, and customer care, diligently provided excellent customer service and encouraged the Jamba team to work to their best potential. So that was March 2018 to September 2018. It showcases me working with the team and, you know, sort of thriving in a team. So next I was a STEM program assistant and coordinator and this was the summer of my freshman year going into my sophomore year of college and I did a lot that summer. I didn't have an internship but I had a job that was related to my major and related to helping other students and I did a lot that year and I think this really helped my resume. As you can see I just listed off what I thought was important, what I obtained from this row, introduced the power of STEM to 15 to 20 high school students and incoming college freshmen by teaching them the basics of Python and Raspberry Pi which allowed them to create RC cars, quadcopters, smart mirrors, and smart doorbells. Simultaneously oversaw different student groups functioning and effectively worked in a team to develop and teach Python curriculum. So that is what I did during that row. I tried to quantify everything throughout this resume. So as you can see, I say 15 to 20 high school students because I tried to be super specific as well as show what was the result of what I did. Also, what did I get out of it? Um, how was the experience? But also trying to keep it condensed. And another thing to note is I had to keep going back and refining this as best as I could. Um, I still probably could go through this resume and figure out different areas where I think you know, I could have stated this better. I was also a web application instructor and a coordinator during that summer of my freshman year going into my sophomore year. And this was from July 2019 to September 2019. So there is a bit of a time overlap and that's because I was doing two things, two to three things at once with all within the same um, program that I was doing during that summer. So like I said, it was I learned a lot that summer. I did a lot that summer and it was a great experience. So this web application instructor slash coordinator role was a great talking point um, to a lot of the companies that I interviewed at. Um, just because they were interested, they wanted to know more about it, and I had a lot to say about it. So as you can see, it says, you know, successfully taught around 55 K through 12 students. Originally, when I got this role, I was not supposed to do that. Like I wasn't supposed to be teaching. I was just supposed to be sort of like an assistant, but you know, things changed and I ended up being a computer science lead and teaching these students about web and mobile applications. And these were, like I said, from K through 12. That was a great experience. And I even have a blog, a day in my life of this role. And I, you know, show you guys everything that I do during the day and actually teaching these students. So you guys can go check that out on my channel. And another thing to note is everything on your resume is fair game when you're interviewing at these companies. So you really want to know everything that you put on this resume and you want to be able to talk about all of it. Otherwise, it can, you know, catch you off guard if you don't know, you know, what you have on your resume and it's sort of just like fluff. So next I have Hack UCI Hackathon member. Um, this was in the beginning of 2020. This was a three-day initiative where my team of four students discussed, planned, and created a mock-up rideshare application. So students in groups of two to five will be able to conveniently cash rides and save roughly 50 to 80 percent of their initial gas bill. Um, we work with Flutter for front-end application development and Firebase for back-end. So this was a mock-up rideshare application that we made outside of school curriculum. So again, I quantified everything that I did during this row. As you can see, you know, I give them numbers. I, I show them, you know, what was the result? What did you do? What did you take out of it? I really tried to showcase that so it would legitimize, you know, what I was talking about in my resume. So the most recent thing that I have on my resume is Office of Access and Inclusion STEM Mentor slash Tutor. And that is a job that I have working at UCI and I'm just a tutor for students who um, are trying to learn Python and C++ um, and just sort of navigating the whole online school process. Um, I was a mentor for that. So that's why I have this on my resume. And this was really good, you know, being that we were in, we're still in like quarantine and, you know, we're still making our way through. This was a nice job to have to still sort of um, be active, actively helping other people and still doing something that I could add on my resume. And I'm still doing this currently. I still have this position. And that is everything for the experience section. That's the bulk of this 
resume, I want to get into independent projects right here. Um, the first project that I have is YouTube to Spotify playlist automation and credit goes to the come up for this project idea and you know her walkthrough. I really liked that project and I thought that was super interesting so I decided to do it for fun on my own and you know tweak it up and do um, sort of my own interpretation of the project. So yeah I just briefly talked about what the project consists of and all of its highlights. The next project that I have is OpenCV face detection and use OpenCV classifiers to create a Python desktop application that successfully recognizes faces and facial features such as eyes, lips, and noses. And that was another fun project that I decided Decided to do. I found myself talking more thoroughly about both of these projects to interviewers and really telling them in depth what did I you know learn from this project, what are the, some of the challenges that I ran into, different stuff like that. Yeah you guys know I've been getting a lot more into doing just independent farm projects whatever it may be. I have a secret Santa video up on my channel where I just created a secret sign a desktop application using Python. You guys can check that out. So the next section I have is just volunteering. And as you can see, I was running out of space. Like I couldn't thoroughly talk about every single thing. So I just sort of listed off the volunteering that I've done recently that I thought would be beneficial to any roles that I was applying for. So I have Omo Yoruba of SoCal, computer science speaker, Nesby engineer of the future, build special kids sports for kids with special needs um and yeah those are things that i've been passionate about things that i did that i decided to list off there underneath volunteering and then underneath certificates i just have one certificate it's ai for everyone and this is something that i did in the summer for fun it was just to um get sort of learn more about ai and just um, get a better understanding of you know different applications and how it's actually used in the real world. It was a certified course so I decided to add that to my resume. So that is my entire resume. I really hope you guys were able to you know get something out of it and really just you know see in depth everything that I did and see maybe how this might have helped me uh, get these um, internship interviews. Yeah I'm really grateful that this resume was able to help me. I spent a lot of time on it and refining it and enhancing it the best way that I knew I could and I think it really did um, do me justice. So I really hope that it helps anybody out there trying to you know look for ways to enhance their resume as well as get these interviews. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.